Hey everybody, welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 48. Hopefully this will be a short one. We are just going to finish uh, loading in the material color when there is no texture for a 3D file format. So let's go to our model header. And what we are going to add is a function called load material textures. Now this function will take in a pointer to the material a uh, texture type, so in our example we'll be looking for diffuse textures, and a pointer to the scene. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how this implementation will look like. Alright, so for this, the first thing we're going to do is create a vector of textures to store all of our materials textures. We're going to default the storage type to invalid, and we're going to get the texture count. Now keep in mind, with this file there are no textures for this material because um, it, there's just no texture, it just has material info like the color of the material. So if we get back zero for texture count, then that means that we will use texture storage type none, and we will have to generate the one by one texture that we had made in the previous tutorial. So we're going to create um, an AI color, uh, this is from the ASEMP library, we're going to create a color uh, where it's just zero for RGB, so it's black, and what we are going to do is if the texture type is diffuse, we are going to try to get the diffuse color uh, and store it inside of this uh, AI color object we just created from our material, and if the color is black, then we are going to use the color uh, for the unloaded texture color, which was just gray, and we're going to return that. Otherwise, if the object is not black, then it is going to give us back values from 0 to 1, where 1 is the most uh, possible of that color and 0 is none of that color. So we are going to generate a texture and we're just going to multiply the values uh, by 255 since we are storing them from 0 to 255, uh, we need to get it in that range. And then we're just going to return uh, those material textures. Now otherwise, we if you remember in our colors namespace, we had also put in unhandled texture color, which this is just a straight red, pretty much. Um, for meshes that actually do have textures, it's not yet implemented. We're just going to use this unhandled texture color, so that way we know that that's what that is. Next, let's go back to where we were hard coding uh, just to put in the unloaded texture. And we're going to switch this up. So we're still generating the vector of textures. We need to get the material for this mesh. So the way we'll do this is we'll look at the scene and we'll look at all the materials in the scene. And then we'll look at the mesh and we'll look at the index for the material that the mesh is using. And that will get us the material um, from this scene that this mesh uses. Next, we are going to uh, get the diffuse textures, what we call load material textures, and we pass in the material, we pass in texture ty type diffuse, and we pass in the scene. And then we are going to add the diffuse textures to our texture, our vector of textures. And then when we um, call the mesh constructor, we are, of course, going to still pass in that same textures vector. So if we test this now, we should see a blue cube. So let's see what we see. All right, and we see a blue cube. And you'll see if we try to load in something that's not supported, such as, let's take a look back at the nano suit. You see for this, we get all red because it's not like, oh, there was no texture and it was black. It's like, oh, there is a texture, but we're not currently supporting it. So in the next tutorial, we are going to look at pulling in the textures the way that the NanoSuit object uh, stores it, which the NanoSuit is an OBJ file. So the textures are actually stored outside of the file. As you can see in right here, uh, you know, we have the uh, diffuse textures for the arm, the diffuse textures for the body. So we'll look at pulling those in in the next tutorial.